Okay guys, I'm gonna test drive the new Mini Countryman today. All right, so uh, again, I have very very little time to do so but let you have a look at the exterior uh, they have directional headlamps now and it's highly specced uh, it's a car that you can play 20 million songs off Spotify yeah. isn't that freaking cool so uh, I'm gonna drive maybe I'll take car number 6 yeah, yeah I'll continue later I think the car looks damn good, lah, huh? Guys, Bobby here. So I'm now behind the wheel of the new Mini Countryman. This is the Cooper S. As a, as an ex Mini owner, when I look at this cabin, it's just amazing. It's so solidly built, and uh, it's it's just beautiful, beautiful. All right. And uh, they they introduced two variants. They have the standard Cooper, and then they have the Cooper S, and then they have the sorry, yeah. Your yeah, yeah, got, got it. Plug it. Okay. Yeah. Can you can hear it. Here's unplug it. Okay. Here's your headphone. Okay, cool. Okay. Alright. Unplug it. Alright. Alright, thanks. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Chill. So it's noisy. I'm gonna switch it off. Okay. So what do we have here? Um the whole cabin has been thoroughly re re engineered I would say. I mean compared to the old ones, right? It's very, very different. Uh, the old ones, the R56, we have the dials over here, right? But that's no longer the case. Everything is over here. Every information is very clear-cut. And I like some of these special light indicators that are a bit old school for the uh, petrol gauge and all that. So it's, it's, it's a very, very nice cabin now. Gone are the old cabin where, uh, you know, fit and finish is a, is, 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 is a question. But now, no, no. And... Another thing is, as mini owners would know, there used to be no power seats, right? Manual seats used to be a thing, a mini thing. Yes, bro? Okay, right? Can? No need. Okay, Daya. Uh -huh. So you don't want to hear, you just follow. Ah, can. Okay. I follow you all. Right. Thanks. Okay, the instructor knows my shit. Uh -huh. uh, so, yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna follow them. Because if they keep talking, right, you won't be able to listen. So uh, these cars are now, the Cooper has the uh, 2 liter turbo engine, which is the same as the BMW 2 liter twin power something, turbo, whatever. And then you have the standard Cooper, which is the 1.5 liter 3 cylinder engine, a very wonderful engine, full of character and some rotty sound. Actually, the, the 1.5 might sound nicer than the 2 liter, but of course the 2 liter delivers 192 or 94 horsepower. Uh, very good horsepower output for a car of this size. The Countryman has always been, uh, you know, you have pundits saying things like, ooh, it's an SUV, blah, blah, and all that. But it's proven itself. It is wildly popular. It is very practical. And if you remember, five, six years ago, people are snapping them up like mad. And they were expensive back then. They were like, what, 280000 So now Mini has bring down the prices. The Cooper S is 269 k And then the uh, standard Cooper is 239 right um, if you're not a mini owner if you never understood mini you look at it from a size point of view you look at it from a power or whatever and then you judge it by the price bang against buck and all that right you never really get what driving a mini is all about because there are no other cars like mini out there they are just different the way they make you feel is different and the fact that as, as, as I come from a mini owner I mean when you drive out to junctions, people let you pass. People let you merge. People are generally nicer to Mini drivers. Uh, my personal experience is, from a Mini, I jump into an Audi or a BMW, right? People just cut me off, you know, it's like... <laughs> it's always... It's very different. So, I like the cabin. Um, I don't know whether I have the time to bring you all have a good look at the cabin. Look at all this. It's nice materials and I like all these little designs. They are cute. This color is interchangeable, so it changes the mood of the car. And it's especially uh, prevalent at night because all this will kind of reflect the ambient lighting. So at night, when you change red, the whole ambience changes blue and whatsoever. Okay, I like these toggle switches. Yes, they reduce the amount of toggle switches now in the car. Um, I don't know, maybe it's a... It's a I don't know, reliability or whatever, but the toggle switches always feel really good, right? Uh, the old the old climate control 
control, uh, the, the old HVAC controls, right, has a mini logo to it. If, if only mini, mini owners will know, uh huh. And these ones are still there, so I wonder if later if I take out my seat belt, right, will it go like the oh, I haven't go yet. Okay, they're going now. All right, we'll continue. Let's yeah. jalan. I love mini steering. Small, chunky, full of feel. Uh, even the old R56 is uh, EPS steering, electric power steering, but they make some of the best electric power steering. They are fearsome. A lot of feel when you drive. Right. And first thing, uh, you don't feel that, that jittery ride anymore. You know, back then Mini always, they have that. Uh, they call it the go-kart feel. Yes, go-kart handling. Yeah, but some people find that they are too harsh in terms of suspension. Uh, the new ones are all very comfortable, but there is still a little sense of that kind of... Uh, they want you to feel the road. They want you to feel everything. So that's how minis work. Oh, these kind of roads are lovely. Small roads. Uh, I like the sound of the engine. Oh, very fast steering. Very fast steering. And the front response. It's lovely, lovely. I like these bespoke uh, pedal shifters. They look proper mini now. Different, you know, not shared anywhere. Uh, yeah. Talky engine, comfortable ride, very comfortable. Um, and soundproofing too. You know, minis those days, right, they, they, uh, they permit a little bit of sound into the cabin. They want you to feel the car, feel the ride feel the surface that you're going through, uh, I still get that. It's well controlled. I can feel that the, the surface and all that is different. And yeah, that's that's part of the, the mini driving experience. That's how they feel. That's how they make you feel. All right. We're going to turn out to the highway soon. <laughs> I did ask Mini they, whether they, they, they include this car in their full circle program, but they say they are working on it, uh, no plans yet. But I hope they, they really work on that part because oh, the, the full circle program is excellent. Allow you to own a Mini Cooper for only 1,300 1, ringgit a month. That's a bargain. That's fantastic. And a five door for what? 1,007, 137 something. And if they enter this one into the program, that would be nice. Power is ex expected, very nice. Uh, yeah, a BMW engine is so much better compared to the, the old Prince engine that was collaborated with Peugeot. That engine makes a hell lot of noise. Yeah, this one is very nice, very nice. Uh, I love the ride height, you know, ladies out there, Minis really make you feel special, and uh, a crossover like this, I mean, you know, a small SUV like this, which gives you a, a better uh, vantage point when you look up to the road, and the sporty handling just feels great, just feels great. Yeah. Let me ease off a little bit from the rest, from the back. Little bit of a delay, but expected because why I'm now in the standard mode, right? If I go into sport, yeah, I was in mild just now. There's mild, there's green, and now I'm in sport. So when you're in sport, it always is at least one gear lower, all right? So that feels good. I like the fact that they did not make the car to be too well insulated from the wind or from the road so that it feels like a Lexus, right? What's the point? It's a different thing, right? Lexus is a comfortable, you know, a car that you go in and then you sleep and then you arrive, right? There's a Lexus. But this is a Mini. This is a Mini. It's different. Why is the car coming out? Hmm. Car number five. Oh, to take photos. I guess. Oh, that's dangerous maneuver. Don't do that, bro. Who are you? Oh, photo, photo. Almost ran into the passat. 
And another thing that I like about Minis, right, is a bit like Porsches. When you're at the driving position, you can see your the two bulging up thing on the headlamps. So it's very easy to judge. Yeah, the cars are not actually judging where your car is, right? It has nothing to do whether your car of whether your car is big or small. It has nothing to do with that. It's all about where you are seated, what you're looking at, and yeah. And that helps your ability to judge. You know why this guy is having his signal on and uh what's he doing? And who the hell is car number five? <laughs> and what is this? Oh this CX5. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Uh, we test drive, but then uh, can't do much with it. Yeah, I guess I can conclude the car. I mean, a quick one. I haven't driven it long enough. Okay, it's powerful enough. Um, it's comfortable. It makes you feel special, and it retains that mini spirit. And it's spacious inside here. It's practical. It's a practical car, without being too big, you know. And of course, it's uh, it's costly, but uh, it's worth it. I would say. Um, suspension. Am I able to adjust the suspension? I wonder. Nope. So I go sport, and that's it. Right. So yeah, this is. I'm in maximum mode now. So I'm not sure if they come with adaptive suspension, but what I felt just now is. Uh, let me soften it and see. Yeah, nothing changes. Okay, so the car that they spec, right, the uh, sport mode of mild and all that, right, only affects the uh, throttle input, the uh, sensitivity of the brakes and all that, only those. Not so much with how the uh, the chassis and the uh, suspension control. So those, those aren't adjusted. But is it well judged? I would say it's alright. It's alright because it's a different car. It's not a three, it is not a three door Mini Cooper hatch. Right, a three-door Mini Cooper hatch. They can go, they can order the hardest suspension, or they make it just uh, harder compared to this one. This one, there is a certain amount of roll to give you the kind of comfort you you needed for a car that is practical for the family. Yeah, I guess that's that's how it is. Okay, hi guys. Uh, let you have a look at the uh, room behind here in the. Uh, the all new Mini Countryman. As you can see, it is freaking spacious, even for someone my size. All right, uh, I have a lot of headroom. I have a lot of knee room. See that? And uh, okay, I'm sitting on the left side, so I'm not used to putting my feet like that. But it's spacious enough for me to do that, so I kind of like it. Um, yeah, it's nice. Of course, I have to lift the headrest up to have a proper sitting position. But um, let me let me try and pull through with this. Okay, the first thing I noticed the seat back is rather straight. It's a little bit straight for me. The seat back, of course, only in mid-sized SUVs you get to adjust the uh, backrest, right? Because it's still a mini. It's still a uh, decently sized car, a small one. Okay. So I don't mind. I don't mind long distance in this. It's, it's pretty comfortable, right? And you have rear aircon vents. Yeah. Although they are mounted really low, really low in the floor bottom. Okay. The center tunnel isn't that high to begin with. So I think sitting three abreast should be alright. And it's comfortable. It's a roomy, airy cabin at the back here. I like and it's comfortable. The suspension. The suspension. Okay, yep, that's the back.